okay so the program remains same i'm not changing anything here so I, I, i've taken all the parameters like all the fields as parameter these are all table fields okay so this gem uh, i have created a new table z demo open sql so i am using parameters to populate the data to enter the data in the selection screen and i am populating those parameters data to work area which i defined with reference to the table z demo open sql table so i am populating the data whatever entered in the parameters in this country i am defaulting it to in i am not using a parameter for country because i am using a default value that is in can you tell me how to replace this uh, hard coded uh, value text element text element how to replace it this hard coded value by using update of no i don't want to use this hard coded value i want to replace this with the uh, update of our value huh update okay. of no i have already shown you this how to replace this hard coded message text symbols text symbols, symbols right and how yeah. to replace this value symbols how many of you know constants constants yes i mean what is the difference between variable and constant variable is uh, we can change that uh, value but constants values it, constant. yes. mm, constants it cannot change it is uh, default okay define that value as a constant and use that value okay now uh, first let's go to the table and check the records so this is the primary key of this table employee id so we have three records in the table so when you use insert statement we are first we are populating all the data to work area so this work area i have defined with reference to the table so that whatever the fields available in table we have same fields in the work area so we have to populate all the fields and uh, insert insert it insert is to create new record in internal table sorry not in internal table yeah. in, in uh, database Excellent. table okay what is sabarsi means sabarsi zero means successful successfully inserted what is commit work proceed that record is stored mm. in that work table yeah. so when you when you execute the commit statement that record will be permanently inserted into table okay if something went wrong there is some error 
when sabars is not equal to zero roll back what is the roll back whatever the changes you applied on the database will be reverted reversed okay clear is it clear yes so i will just uh, remove commit work i'm just comment commented the commit work and execute the insert statement uh employee id 400 employee name department id sap phone number some phone number city sender mail execute so what we got sabars is zero sabars is zero it is successfully executed let's check the table Sabar C zero, so the insert statement is already executed. Let's check the table records. It is not created, right? Yes. Even Sabar C zero, it is not created. When it comes to message. right but up, after completing the program a default commit work uh, is executing okay when the program is displaying the result a default commit statement is executing okay but you should always whenever you are using any database statement there should be a commit statement okay when record is created successfully otherwise at the end of the program uh, output at the end of the program it is executing one default commit so whatever the database changes you did in this program all changes will be committed at the end okay but we should use this for individual statement in the program so this is insert statement syntax insert database table name from uh, work area okay. by using this we are inserting uh, one record at a time okay clear so if you have any doubts on syntax keep keep cursor on the insert statement and press f1 you can see this help okay insert database table ab app sql statements go to this here it will provide syntax okay this is the syntax we are using insert what is target target means what here table name table name okay from work area what is this insert target table means what table name table name from uh, table i tab so by using this syntax 
we are inserting one record at a time right how many records we are inserting at at, the, at a time one record one record but if you use this statement first need to connect records into an internal table and use that internal table in insert statement using that uh, we can insert multiple records at the same time okay we can insert multiple records at the same time by using this syntax what is the syntax insert table name from table Anna. internal table Anna. so this is the syntax okay so please observe here What are what are you doing here? Internal table equal to value. Hmm. Can you guess what is this? Uh, At hmm? time two IDs. At time two IDs. Insert X and Y. Into where? To internal table. Hmm. What is the what what is the statement that we observed till now? to add the records to the internal table from work area internal yeah. table name work area from we added one record uh, no we are using this append statement we are using append statement first we are populating data to work area and appending that work area to internal table right yeah. so this is the replacement for that uh, old syntax this is a new web app syntax we call this as new web app syntax we are populating values directly to the internal table. This is the first record and this is the second record. ID means these are all table fields. ID means one field, number one means second field. Providing the values so that they are appending two values to the internal table. Two records to the internal table like this. So this is called new web app syntax. We'll see that later, okay? For now, we'll go with append statement only. This is the uh, this syntax is the replacement for append statement. Okay, going forward, we are going to replace that with uh, these statements. Okay, clear. Clear. Okay. Okay. Here you can find all the syntaxes and example. If you go to the help, when you press F1 and go to the help, you can find all the example here for update, for modify, everything. Okay? So what is what is about a modify statement? The ABAP. SQL statement modify inserts one or more rows specific specified in the source into DDIC table or specific in target or overwrite the existing rows. So what it, what, it, what it's going to do? It's going to create a new record or it's going to overwrite the existing record. Right? That's what the modify statement. It is combination of update and insert statement. If there is an existing record, it will create, it will update that record with new values. If there is no record, it's going to create that record. Right? So this is from work area, right? Let's see how to insert data from work internal table. What I, what I'm going to do is I'm appending this. Uh, first, I'm going to define one internal table with the same table reference.
so what I, so so we are here see in parameters we can enter only single record right so what we'll do is uh, it cannot take uh, same employee id again right so what will we'll make it plus one okay so that it will populate new employee So always remember to clear work area before uh, using for the second record. What I'm doing here, so whatever the employee ID provided in parameter, I'm, I'm adding plus one here for the second record, right? So what is the syntax? Insert table from uh, table, internal table, internal table name. You want to add one more record, you can add. Here I'll add plus two. Mm -hmm. Now execute. No, oh, no, no, no. Should use. Here. Now I should. Uh, check if gt underscore employee data is not initial <coughs> now execute 402 and providing some values execute how many records I have? Three records in the yeah. internal table. Three. Three records in the internal table. 402, 403, 404. F5. So insert is successful. So once the commit work is executed, we can find the records in the table. Refresh. So we have 402, 403, 404. So looks like we have some empty spaces here. We have to condense that uh, record. Okay. Anyway, uh, how many records created in the internal table? How many records we created in a table? Eight. Eight records. Three records in, in this Eight. current uh, execution. Three records, right? So using uh, our internal table. Okay. 